on March 26, 2014 in the back bay of Boston. Tragically, we lost two firefighters, Michael Kennedy and Lieutenant Walsh. And what had happened was their hose burnt through and they were unable to escape the fire. So the Last Call Foundation was started by Michael Kennedy's mother, uh, Kathy Crosby Bell. And what Kathy would like to do is to fund research here at WPI to investigate what happened to that hose and how can we improve fire hose in the future. Michael and Ed are in that basement calling, charge the line, charge the line, and their colleagues are outside doing everything in their power to try and get water in there and they believe and they see water going in and it's not getting to them. And that's tragic. That should never happen. We have joined forces with a group of fire uh, personnel from across the country, from various departments that have experienced hose failures for, because of burn through and have been more than willing, as you know, the Last Call Foundation who's sponsoring our research, had this big kickoff meeting and publicity and they did a great job. And what they did a great job of getting the word out because my phone started ringing and my inbox started going crazy with people saying, oh, I'm a chief in such and such you know, a state or a country, uh, you know, and this happened to me. What we're finding now is that manufacturers are creating what's called a lightweight hose. They're taking excess material out, they're making this, this hose lighter, it's easier to carry, it's easier to drag, it's easier to fold, but we're losing that thermal performance. And what we're finding is, is when that out, outer layer starts to burn through a little bit, we get a catastrophic failure of the hose. We're collecting all those stories, we're also developing a formal survey, we're looking at the fact that there is no agency that collects that information right now. Who do you tell that your hose had a burn through? You might think it's just an anomaly because you've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. So do you feel you're in the forefront of all this? Oh, we are in the forefront. We are so in the forefront that we didn't know we were. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we started the project, we didn't even really know that there was a problem. We ourselves thought, oh, it's unfortunate that that they didn't get water to Michael Kennedy in time. But it's not a widespread problem. So we're so at the forefront of this that we ourselves learned after we started the project that there is this huge problem bubbling under the surface. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you see it getting worse and it's sort of relative to Well, I see it coming out, yes. I see a lot more, um, you know, we see it every day. Like, uh, I just showed you some hose in our fire lab that was from a burn through of a fire hose in Worcester in the last week. So we're seeing this happen more. Typically fire departments replace their hose every 10 years or so. As they're replacing their hose, they're buying the lighter weight hose. You know, it meets the standard. It's not necessarily anybody's fault. The manufacturers manufacture it to the standards that are set. NFPA 1961 is the standard that all hose in the United States must comply to to be purchased by fire departments. What we're finding is, is that NFPA 1961 doesn't fully address thermal resistance of the fire hose that is representative of what a firefighter would encounter in a structure. And they take a steel block, a one inch steel block, and they heat it up and they stamp that and they hold that onto the fire hose for a pre-specified amount of time. Afterwards, they remove the block and they charge the hose line up to its working pressure. And if the hose line can survive that one little conductive test, then it's good to go. And that's not representative of what firefighters are seeing on the fire ground. I'm so happy to know that there are people working on safety issues related to firefighting. Yeah, and every firefighter said they said the pinholes are super common. Like, yeah. just oh, yeah. unbelievably. They say the hoses seep.